Hey guys, I know I said I was logging off for the night, but I wanted to record a quick video to talk about um, some of the really common things that I'm seeing crop up when you guys are working with Visual Studio Code. So let's um, kind of go into some basic stuff. First off, the biggest and most important thing here is that Visual Studio Code is not a IDE. It's not like Visual Studio, it's not like IntelliJ IDEA. It's not going to do any of the work for you. It basically is the exact same as text editor. Right, I can pull up um, what notepad. And of course, Windows is going to crash on me. You know, I can pull up notepad just as effectively. In fact, just for the heck of it, I want to illustrate this. Let's go ahead and do, I'm going to create a file. I'm going to put it on my desktop. So I'm going to call it um, Notepad Verilog. I'm going to put it in there. And then, right, so .txt, you can see in the extension, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm just going to call this one, what, demo.v. Right. So now this is a Verilog file. If I go and grab that folder from wherever it came up, Okay, so yeah, so I've got there, this is my folder. It's got just the file in it. So you can see it's demo.v. So what I'm showing here is that, like there's no magic, right? It's just a file. File extensions don't mean anything. They just tell the operator. All, file, all a file extension does is tell an operating system, hey, use this application to try and open this file. It's just a user interface thing. File extensions don't mean anything. So here in Notepad, I can go ahead and write a module. So let's say module. Um, you know, my demo, let's give it some inputs, A, B, C, and F, semicolon, in module. Make sure to save. I've got the little asterisk by the name there. It means I'm not saving. Hit control S to save my files, right? And I can say, let's do inputs, A, B, C, uh, output, F. Um, remember, since they're all one bit inputs, I don't need to add anything like, you know, I don't need to say three bits of input A, B, C, right? It's just all one bit A, one bit B, one bit C. Um, it's all just doing that. Um, let's assign, let's say F is equal to some, let's just give it some logic. Uh, let's say A and not B or C, all right? There's my demo. Uh, Verilog file, it doesn't do anything. So let's go ahead and create a new one. We've got to create a test bench for that. Is that not? Yeah, hold on. So I don't think I've ever actually used Notepad before. Demo underscore test bench dot V, right? Notice, even though down here file type says save as type, I'm saying I don't care about that. I'm making it a dot V file and I'm saving it. Um, I need to find a place to save it. Desktop. Save. There we go. So now they're back in here. They're both .v files. So um, I'm going to open up Where's my open with. There we go. Open with Notepad to keep it living in Notepad. Um. Now let's go and create our test bench, right? We need to do our time scale. One nanosecond dash one nano second. One big thing. This guy right here is the apostrophe, not the semi-quote, or not the single quotes, right? It's up by the tilde. So that's apostrophe, that's single quotes. They are different things. You cannot use them the same way. The test bench requires the apostrophe. So time scale one nanoseconds, then I want to include 
um, what do I call it? Demo dot V and module demo TV nothing in module. Um, let's see, and then we're gonna do regs A, B, and C, wire F, demo, U, T, A, B, C, and F. Now let's do our initial begin and end. Um, then I got to do my dump bars to create that VCD. Dump bars. Um, don't get too hung up on what this is. So demo underscore TV dot VCD. This says, hey, this is where you're going to take this stuff from. Um, ooh, that's dump file, should be. And this is dump vars, right? Zero. And the demo underscore TV just says, hey, this is the module that the variables are coming from. Um, don't worry too much about that. That's pretty cut and dry. Just make sure you're matching up um, what this is with your module. So um, now let's actually do some stuff. We'll say we got A, B, C equals three bits binary zero, zero, zero. We'll delay for 20. I'm gonna go ahead and Copy that all the way down. That's weird. So one, two, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and add those bits in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, if I was to be weird, I could do this one in decimal, right? And say that's a seven in decimal. That's gonna do the exact same thing as saying one, one, one. And I'm gonna save that to make sure that works. And then I'm gonna go ahead and open up my command line. Or my command prompt. Let's go CD desktop, look at my directory. Um, where's my file at? I know you're in there. Um, CD, what do I call this thing? Notepad, Verilog, here we go, DR. Now, see that I Verilog works. Now, I Verilog dot O, I'm gonna create my VVP, demo underscore TV dot VVP, demo underscore TV dot V. Hey, look at that, I got syntax errors. Now, when you go to look at these syntax errors, you gotta look and see, all right, well, where is stuff happening? In demo dot V, at line six, something is messed up, right? Um, yeah, because I used to, so I go one, two, three, four, five, six, and say, all right, something is messed up here. Oh yeah, I used an equal sign here instead of a or. So there you go, that's that thing, that's fixed. So you can run it again, all right? You gotta look at those errors and see what they're doing. Oh, I guess we got more errors. Um, let's take a look, unknown module type demo. It's because I didn't call it demo, I called it my demo because I'm dumb. Let's go ahead and make that demo, right? So we're looking at the syntax errors. We're going over and we're seeing, all right, we're ready to screw something up. Um, just because you've got a syntax error doesn't mean like, oh, shoot, I got to stop and and sort of freak out about it. You look, read the errors, um, and then go and look and sort of think critically about what's going on. So now let's run it again. Hey, look at that. Everything worked. So I'm going to go ahead and go VVP, demo underscore TV dot VVP. Um, look at that. Uh, dump file created, open for output. Now, I bet if I go back to my desktop and I pull open that folder, um, look at that, I got the VCD file right there. So I can run GTK wave straight over from the command prompt. He's gonna pop open and the good stuff's gonna happen. We're gonna find VCD, we're gonna grab it, we're gonna look at these signals. 
Um, we're going to do the waveform and make sure it works. We're not going to like spend any time with that now because it doesn't matter. That's not the point of this video. But there we go. Hopefully from that you saw we ran everything in Notepad. No Visual Studio Code requires, no syntax highlighting, really nothing here at all um, besides just creating some dumb files, um, writing them in Notepad, and uh, executing the stuff. Now let's go ahead and we're going to do the exact same thing over in Visual Studio Code. Um, so in fact, I'm going to create, so if we want to create a new folder, I'm going to go to File. Um, you can't create a folder in VS Code, so let's just go ahead and create a folder. Anyway, I'm going to go to File, New, Folder, I'm going to call that Demo, he's right here. So now what I want to do is go ahead and open that folder. So I go File, Open Folder, um, and yeah, crazy stuff is happening, so I'm going to go over here, open up the Demo folder. Hit select folder. Now I'm in uh, my folder, right? So it says demo. A lot of you guys were seeing that this said Verilog and getting kind of freaked out and thinking I was opening up a folder called Verilog or opening some sort of Verilog thing in Visual Studio Code. It's not happening. All I did was create uh, a, a file. So if I want to create a new file here, all I got to do is say, click new file. Notice what I did. I just clicked on this new file thing and I'm going to type demo.v. There's my new folder. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this code into that. Now, some of you guys are noticing oh, we've got syntax highlighting here. That comes from a package. So if I go over to the extensions um, and say search for extensions in the marketplace, and I just type Verilog, um, there's a bunch of different languages extensions that will give you that syntax highlighting. I go with this one because for no other reason than it has 101,000 installs, whereas like the next best one has like 9,000. Generally speaking, if you're not sure, the one that has the most installs is probably the best one. So I hit that, I've got it installed, and that is what's giving me syntax highlighting. Now, we have to make sure we save our file. Notice the little gray dot on the demo tab. Um, that means the file is not saved. I can either go File, Save, or I can hit Control S to save uh, my files, but you gotta make sure to save your files, otherwise it's not going to work. So let's go ahead and create that test bench. Call it demo underscore tb dot v. Um, and I'm going to copy and paste all this code since that's not what we're too worried about here. And again, I've got to make sure we save. Now to open up, I can either hit go here, new terminal, new terminal. I can also just hit uh, control uh, tilde. And that sort of lets me toggle that guy. And now you got to go and make sure, read the path, and make sure you're in the right place. Um, and now we're gonna do all the same stuff again, right? I verilog.o uh, demo underscore tb dot vvp demo underscore dot v. Um, oh, look at that, no such file or directory. So yeah, because it's underscore v not dot v. Boom. Now let's go ahead and run vvp demo underscore tb dot vvp. All right, it's all done. Now, what we might notice is that we didn't actually create our uh, dot .c file, or our dot v, dot, uh, dot .vcd. I wonder why that is. Let's see. So now we gotta kinda do some hunting and see what is going on, and run that again. And I'm gonna run VVP again. You know, sometimes stuff just doesn't really work. What if I, I don't know, change the name here. It said demo TV, demo TV, demo TV. Ah, oh, it didn't create. Hmm, so what is going on? So we're not gonna give up, we're gonna keep working the problem. I wonder, I bet the, I bet the question, I bet it's this. I bet if I exit out and I reopen Visual Studio Code as administrator, I bet it'll let me do it. Let's try it now.
Hmm. So I'm really not sure why this isn't working. Just for fun, if I go GTK wave. Um, open new tab. Yeah, no, it's definitely not. Uh, definitely not there. Run a couple times and you go, why is it happening? I don't understand. Yeah, we're just finding the other one. So what we can do now is actually let's go back here. And in the command line, demo. Let's try it here. I verilog dot o demo underscore tv dot vvp demo underscore tv dot v. VVP demo underscore TV dot VVP. Hey, look at that, it worked that time. Sometimes stuff gets kind of weird. You might have to try other tools. The important thing is that you know that there's nothing special about this. I'm really genuinely not sure why that's not working, but that stuff happens, it comes up. We gotta sort of, as engineers, deal with these problems. So I was able to open the command prompt and get it to work there. GTK wave. Open new tab, open the demo.vcd. See our stuff. All right, and that's working. So, so strange that it wasn't uh, letting us create the file. Um, I'll have to sort of do some hunting and figure out what caused that. Um, but we were able to open up the command prompt and run it all the same from that same folder. So, um, so that's just a quick video. Let me think if there's anything else. Um, that I'm gonna get a lot of emails about. Um, now, like I said, don't get too hung up on Visual Studio Code or what it is. Um, make sure you're thinking critically about what you're writing. Know that Verilog isn't a programming language, right? We're not gonna, we can't just like write a couple lines and then execute it. Um, we've gotta implement the whole circuit and the whole test bench and, uh, and go from there. And so, yeah. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. Uh, and if not, I'll see you guys later. Good night.